I'm not really, obviously. Anyway, I hope you're all well. Um, assembly today. Um, background is relevant, okay, to the story that I'm going to tell. Um, we've been looking at um, amazing uh, women uh, through this week and, we're, and some of the amazing things that they've done. Um, this Today's a bit different um, because it's, um, well, I'll show you. Uh, where's my slides? Here they are. Bing! Right. And I'll get out of the way a little bit. Okay, so um, these, this team uh, wrote the book and illustrated the book that I'm going to share with you today. Um, their names are Jean Wills and Bryony May Smith. Uh, Bryony May Smith is, uh, is the illustrator uh, and Jean is the writer. Uh, they've both done quite a few children's books. Jean's written lots of children's books and Bryony May has, uh, is starting to write, is starting to illustrate more and more. Um, she's done some some great ones, some really nice, nice illustrations. Um, in fact, I think um, in year two, they often look at a book called The Goblin King. Uh, and I know that Bryony um, wrote and illustrated that, which is a great book. So um, the book that we're going to read today is called Stardust. Ah, get the background now. Um, and here is the cover. It's a lovely cover. I love this book. Um, I'm just going to position myself so I'm a bit out of the way so that we can see it. Um, and you can see that the main protagonist of the story um, is a girl. The main, the main character in the story is a girl. Um, and there she is looking at the stars at night. Right, um, we'll get started. Um, this is the first page that you see when you open the book. There she is looking at, um, oh, she's looking at planets, space. Mm, interesting. Stardust by Jean Wells, illustrated by Bryony May Smith. Uh, and you can see that... Um, Jean Wills has written it for Kayla Rose, May You Shine Like a Star, and Bryony Mae Smith has written it for her two granddads, Grandad Fair and Grandad Smith. Ugh. There's no page. Let's make it out of the way. When I was small, I wanted to be a star. My sister was a star, everyone said so, but nobody said it to me. Mum lost her wedding ring. I looked for it everywhere, but my sister found it. And Mum said she was a star, and so did Dad. Nana showed us how to knit. The scarf I made for Grandad was full of holes, but the, sis the scarf my sister made for Nana wasn't. It's perfect, you little star, said Nana. We entered the fancy dress competition. Grandad said my costume was amazing. He said I might win, but I didn't. My sister won the star prize. Grandad dried my eyes. Later, Grandad found me gazing up at the sky. There were thousands of stars. I made a wish. I wished I was a star, and Grandad said, You are! Then he told me this story. Once upon a time, there was nothing. No sun. No moon, no world, no trees, no creatures, just darkness. But then, bang! Twinkle, twinkle, the first star was born. Then another, and another, and, an and another, until there were billions of stars that were brilliant and beautiful. And there were planets too, with moons and mountains, seas and trees. Flowers and animals, birds and butterflies. Big sisters and little sisters. Everything and everyone is made of stardust, said Grandad. That's why even the dullest stones sparkle and shine after the rain. Will I ever sparkle, I said. Will I ever shine? You already do, Grandad replied. Your sister isn't the only star in the universe. Remember what you are made of. You shine in different ways. I did remember. And I did shine. Shine in your own way. Because remember, you are made of stardust too. So that's the story. It's quite short. And you can see her there at the end. She's obviously become an astronaut. Look at that. So, all the way back at the beginning. Um... She wasn't feeling very happy about not being called a star and that her sister 
Um, she thought that the, everybody thought that her sister was amazing, but actually that wasn't true. Um, it's just that sometimes we do feel like that when other people around us get praise. We feel like, well, why are we getting praise? Um, uh, and sometimes we compare ourselves to people. It's a very normal thing to do. I've got two sisters. Um, I've got an older sister, Ruth, and I've got a younger sister called Laura. And I know that I often compare myself to my older sister. My older sister is, um, she's an art teacher. She's amazing at drawing. Uh, and I always felt that I wasn't as good at drawing as her. Um, and I'm not as good at drawing, but then I never spent as much time drawing as she did. So maybe if I'd have put the effort in, um, I would be as good as drawing. Um, and we're, we're good at different things. I know much more about frogs than she does. That's the truth. Uh, and my younger sister, well, my younger sister is an art teacher as well. Funny that, isn't it? Um, and, and she's really, really good at making things. She's amazing at making... Um, she, she used to make these things out of wire. She'd bend wire and make these amazing structures and things. Incredible. I, I never did that. I could never do that. Um, but again, I never put the time in. Um, and, and so I never got praised for it. But again, I know a lot more about animals than she does. Um, we are different and we are all stars. Um, I think the uh, the page where he explains about the start of the universe is called the Big Bang Theory, um, when there was nothing and then the stars became came into existence. And that's a lovely page, kind of matches my background for the day. OK, well, I hope you uh, enjoyed the brief assembly today. Um, you've all been stars this week. You've come back into school. You've got on with it. Um, you are working hard. You're enjoying being outside. Um, you're not moaning when it's raining, and it has been raining a lot, which isn't great. Um, and um, I'm very proud of you. So all of you have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you all on Monday. I'm going to drift off into space now. See you later. Bye. Bye.